missing in our system. Absolutely, Vinny. And um, I think your expert and Deborah really hit on a couple of important points when we're going to evaluate um, whether or not this force was reasonable and what their level of criminal culpability is. You know, we know that they came to a scene where, at least on its face, there was no allegation of immediate threat of harm. Um, that's not dispositive in itself because we know we've seen situations where officers. Uh, come to a scene that otherwise was benign and ended up escalating. But when you couple that with the comments made by your expert, which I think are incredibly important, and that is that Officer Chauvin had his hand in his pocket during the course of this entire incident. You know, by definition, if you have to use force, you have to use both of your hands. And I think they're going to have a difficult time finding a police expert to refute that. I also think there's another important fact that hasn't been discussed, at least from what I could tell, and that is, you know, we have a young man who is begging for his life, indicating he thinks he's going to die, and he becomes unresponsive for four minutes. And I have not seen any evidence that these officers checked on his condition, attempted to provide any medical aid, um, or even asked the uh, medical team to hurry up that the situation had deteriorated. So I, I think, you know, while these men will get their fair day in court, you know, these facts are extremely dispositive as to whether or not this force was reasonable. And I would argue that it goes to their state of mind. Uh, in most states, we evaluate a homicide charge based on many factors, but oftentimes we look at whether or not someone's behavior was reckless. You know, was there a disregard for human life um, that would lead one to be charged? And I think that all of these officers, with all due respect to Deborah, um, are guilty of some form of homicide. These men were trained. They saw this man unresponsive. They didn't attempt to provide aid, and they saw a hand in his pocket. I think that.